Hey, 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 what is going on? This is your girl, Isis Love, tuning in from the beautiful, beautiful um, country of Mexico, chilling in my backyard right now. Just got off a lovely talk with my mentor, dropped the knowledge on me. It was beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I hope everybody is having a blessed day today. I hope everybody's feeling very prosperous. We're going to be talking about something super yummy today. So um, I just ask that you have an open heart and an open mind. Hey, goddess, peace. I had to uh, change. I was on my phone, so I had to do it on my computer. So um, I'm just going to take a moment and uh, just invite some people on here. If you're just tuning in, um, peace, blessings, and welcome to this sacred circle. Um, I would ask that you, if you're watching it live, that you please just comment live for me. And if you could just kind of like give yourself a shout out, like where are you listening from? Like what state are you tuning in live on this broadcast? Because only special beings turned in tune in to this frequency and tune into my to my broadcast so if you could just kind of speak and say you know which area you're coming from um and let's get this stuff popping let's get it popping what's going on david hey peace 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 um so yeah so we're going to talk about so everybody i don't know if you do or you do not know this is cancer season uh shout out to all the cancers out there and all the um the born days. I like to see birthdays as just like a um, a new a new cycle. You know, it's like a new cycle when you have that birthday. So shout out to all the cancers out there. Um, this Friday coming up, it is a new moon. Actually, I think it's the eclipse also coming up too, um, starting the 12th to the 13th. So you have the new moon coming in, right? And so as you may, yes, tuning in from Virginia Beach. My bad, I got excited. <laughs> so as you may know, um, on new moons, it's very, very good to like just ground down into your intentions and see what you want. And just plant new seeds, plant new soil, right? Like it's a great time. Um, just like if you think about it, if uh, you know plants and stuff actually grow in the in the in the dark, you know. So planting stuff when it's when it, the moon is dark, you know. So that's what it means. When the moon is full, you can see it. This is outside. You like, hey, moon. But when the new moon is 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 around, you cannot see it. So. Um, the beautiful thing about this is it's going to be on the 13th. And see, every time I start going live, I got the ancestors. They they come around. I told you I only go live when the ancestors uh, speak for me to go live. So they are live with me. So, um, so yeah. So the good thing also about numerology is um, the number 13 is going to be falling on the date of the new moon. So um, I don't know if anybody has been seeing, you know, repeating numbers, um, you know, 12, 12. Let me see if you still can see me like 12, 12, 11, 11, 5, 5, 5. Like if you've been seeing repeating numbers, like repetitive numbers, type the numbers you've been seeing um, in the chat. I'm going to uh, I'm going to push mine in there. Yeah, I've been seeing um, 13, 13, 11, 11. That is a communication. That is a communication from your higher self. You know, this is just a vessel, as I always say before. Don't get too caught up on this flesh. You know what I mean? Don't get too caught up on this flesh. So this is just a vessel. And so God speaks to you in many different languages. The God in you speaks to you in many different languages. And so one of those th those ways is numbers. Now, a lot of people say, well, what does it mean, Isis, when you see 1111 and you see 1212? You know, it means different things to different people. I really highly recommend when you see these repetitive, like, numbers, Yes, she says she see nine nine nine. Yes, goddess. Yes. Whoa. Yes, nine one 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 one. When you start seeing these numbers, you need to stop. You need to see how you feel. How are you feeling in your body? What were you just thinking? Were you just thinking, oh man, I think I should have turned back that way, and then eleven eleven popped up. You know what I mean? Like really start to be aware of your just like those flies was just coming around me and now they're you know now you know they're they're gone now i know those are the ancestors 
the flies is the best thing for the ancestors to come in because the flies lifespan isn't that long so it's it's always open opened up for the ancestors to come through so this friday is the new moon and um really the new moon on this particular day what type of body parts that it governs because you know these moons govern certain type of body parts so it definitely governs like the stomach the digestive system the womb the magical womb ladies and men have wombs too we do whether you you know it or not like men have wombs too they don't bear children for them from, from you know from their wombs but they also have wombs as well so on this magical day on friday the new moon what i'm going to be working on i'm actually going to be doing a uh, class on this what we're going to be focusing on is very much setting our intentions down in our wounds and from our hearts. When you learn how to connect your heart to your womb, wow. You, your womb is a portal. I mean, think about it, ladies. You give birth through your stargate. A whole full entity enters this 3D realm from your womb. Wow. Forget, really think about it. A whole full grown baby just magically comes out your stomach like that. That's some powerful shit. That's pretty freaking magical. Like people think magic is this, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not. It's you, boo. You magical as hell. If you are tuning in to my frequency right now, right now in this broadcast, you're magical as hell because you was able to enter this, this vortex that I'm in. So, you know, there's not a coincidence, see, fly started to come back. There's not a coincidence that you are listening to this live right now. There's not a coincidence, right? Never a coincidence because nothing is in coincidence. Everything is laid out, right? So this Friday, I'm going to be doing a class for $13.13, 13, 13, right? And in this class, we're going to be covering A, how to manifest your intentions, your goals, what it is that you really want in your life from your heart into your womb so that it births in this reality. We're also gonna be naming our money. It's important that you give your money a name because we're gonna, this is money magic on Friday, okay? Money manifestation magic on Friday. You got to name your money. That's you got to get seductive with money. I my, my money name is Foxy. Foxy. Foxy, she got this long fox tail and she got this all black like leather suit on. She got a whip and you can only see her eyes. Yes, that's Foxy. And so anytime I feel myself about to go down a money loop or anytime I feel like lack wants to come in i think about foxy and i seduce her i'm like come on foxy come on through baby i, I know you got this so you got to seduce this abundance into your life i know that flew over some of your heads but we're gonna get deeper into it on friday as we work as a community a community that's the missing key community literally coming together because we like to hop on here and we like to complain about the pro police brutality and we like to march all this stuff that's cute i get it but what is the action plan because we talk a lot but what is the action plan you don't like your financial situation right now but what are you going to do about it what are you going to do about it so that's what we're going to do on friday as a community and when people come together as a whole because we're all the same we're just different molecules and atoms and organisms on top of another big organism really literally so when we can come together all as one and manifest on the same thing on that powerful day oh baby get ready to count your blessings because they're going to be running through okay we're also going to, and I'm not going to give you too much of what we're going to be doing on that day, because I like to leave a little 
like a little teaser. I like to give you a little teaser and then let you get the full course meal a little bit later. Because if I give it to you too much right now, you ain't going to be able to handle it, right? So um, another thing that we're going to be um, going over is I'm going to be showing each and every one of you how to start bringing in passive income. That's right. On the 13th, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to make sure that you are at least going to have three to five new passive income streams in your life. It's very, very, very important. Oh my gosh. When Friday hit and I'm getting these different paychecks from these different businesses and different, you know, just associations that I put myself in, like that's abundance. I ain't have to do nothing. I can sit in the backyard and look cute butt naked because that's what I like to do. So I will also be giving you the tips on how you can bring in three to five different ways to bring in passive income is very, very important because it's not all about the money, but it is about the time. Time you cannot get back, baby. Time is the greatest asset. Okay, I want y'all to enter and overstand me. I'm going to be showing you how to grow your money because that's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to work for our money. We're supposed to grow it, plant it in a nice soil, water it daily, make sure it gets sun and let it do its thing. I had made a post a while ago um, asking if everybody kept money in their account. And it flew over a lot of people's heads. They didn't really even know what I meant by that when I asked, do you keep money in your bank account? Because my question is, by you keeping money in your bank account, because I had to learn from experience. I'm not just talking to talk. I am walking it like I talk it, amigos, right? So, you know, when your money is just sitting up in the bank, I want y'all to hear me, family. I want y'all to hear me, okay? Listen. Open up your heart, open up your mind, take action at what I'm about to say, right? Share this video if you're just getting in. The rest of the people need to wake up and listen to this. Listen, when your money is sitting in the bank, baby, it's not doing anything. It's getting old coochie cobwebs. When your money is sitting in the bank, it's getting old coochie cobwebs. It's not doing anything. It's not popping out any babies. It's not reproducing. It's not growing any fruit. It's just sitting there looking cute. This baffled me when I started to find out this information and this knowledge. When your money just sit there looking cute, gaining little to no interest, little to no interest, at least get you a, a, a interest baby, a bearing savings account where you at least getting 2% for your money sitting in the bank if you want money to sit in the bank. But listen, y'all, it's the education that we're missing. We don't have the awareness to even know these things. Let me show you. I have been through it to get in a position where I'm at now, where I can go travel the world, where I don't have to work hard. I can sit in the comforts of my living room doing some type of Forex trading or doing something that's going to bring me in some, um, some cash because I have set up systems. That's all we have to do, family, is set up systems. We get so comfortable with the job because it's all that we know. But in my class on Friday, I'm going to be teaching you how to A, manifest from your heart through your womb on this new moon on the 13th. We're going to be picking our money names. I'm going to be teaching you how to bring in at least five, three to five different passive income streams. Now, mind you. I didn't add it two more to my portfolio. So I'm making money in 35 different ways. And it's probably more than that once I actually sit down and count all of them. 35 different ways my money is making money for me in 35 different ways. 35. And I'm going to show you three to five. And if you apply that knowledge, I'll show you more. But I'm not going to just keep giving out stuff and people don't apply it because Knowledge is knowledge, but if you don't apply that knowledge, 
It's just knowledge. It's just words. We have to put action behind what we speak. You just can't be like, I don't like my job. I don't like my job. I want to be financially free. I don't like my job. And don't do nothing about it, though. Crickets in the back, like, huh? You can't sing that ritual, that mantra. Your words are powerful. We're going to speak about the power in the words on Friday in my class, too. Every time you sing that mantra, I can't, it's hard, I'm broke, I don't have any money, I can't, it's hard, I'm broke, I don't, ha when you sing that, like, it, ooh, it do something to my ears, it do something to my ears, y'all, think about it, I just, you might not say it in that, those words, word from word, but the point that I'm trying to make to you is, whenever you are speaking as if whatever, you are manifesting, you're manifesting that. So you have to change your speech and your feeling. Because some people are like, well, I'm doing my affirmations. I'm doing my spiritual baths. Ain't nothing changing. Because you got to feel it. You got to act as if. See, I might have not had already stepped in my millionaire status, quote unquote, um, in my bank account. But abundance and millions is all around me. My mind is set to be like a millionaire. So I am putting stuff in place to be a millionaire. And you can sit back and watch and follow because a lot of people like to just follow the journey. They like to just see, oh, shoot, ICE is here in that country and she's in that country and she's in that country now. But I'm asking you, don't follow me. Join me. We, don't just follow me just because you want to see what Isis Love is doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm getting my shit together. And I'm helping other people who are willing to help themselves get their shit together. So don't watch me. Join me. Be in this community economics with me. Let's shift these paradigms and actually do it. I'm going to drop another nugget on y'all. And then we're going to get back to this class, right? This class, this Friday on the new moon, the price is 1313. So if you feel like the information that I always put out, always put out is valuable and you really want to make a change, just put 1313 in here and I'll get back with you and we'll get this class popping, right? But let me give you another little tip, right? Most people don't know this. They don't know this because we don't educate ourselves. You know, we don't educate ourselves. And sometimes when your vibration is so low, you're just living in autopilot. You can't even see the stuff around you because you just, the walking dead. You think they came out with a walking dead move, the, the thing just because it's an imitation of us. And I say us because we all in this together. So let me share something with you. Okay. So did you know, this is facts that I'm about to speak. My, Pulling nothing out my booty. So if you can, right now, before I drop this last nugget, if you can just share this video, just hit the share button on this video. Just boop, share, boop, share. If y'all want this next nugget, can I just see two people at least just share this? I got about six people on here, people coming in and out. Just share this video, right? Because what I'm about to say, everybody needs to hear, okay? So if you right now, are working for corporate America. I want y'all to listen to me because this is facts that I'm about to tell you and I want you to change it, okay? If you are working right now and you are receiving a W-2 or a W-4 form, I'm not really sure 100% which one they go by right now because I haven't worked for somebody in about six or seven years, right? But if you right now I want y'all to listen, are working for somebody and you are working a corporate job and you got a W-2 and a W-4, do you know that you're getting taxed more than anybody in America? Yes. 
See, y'all think income, income taxes is cute. Oh, I'm getting my tax refund, a refund coming in. Do you know the tax refund time is the only time people actually have like comma amounts money? The income time, tax time is the only time people actually have some money. And that money that you're getting is not all of the money that they have taken out your paycheck, paycheck to paycheck. Y'all hear what I'm saying? When you are an employee, are y'all following me? When you are an employee, you are being taxed 25 to 38% more than the average business owner. Even by having a home-based business, you don't even get taxed that much. I'm speaking from experience. I'm a business owner. I'm a home-based business owner. I don't get taxed that. So let me show you what that means, right? So you get your paycheck, you like balling, $1,500, balling, ball, well, deduction, taxes, state taxes. You start going down the list of all the stuff that's dipping in your money. You going to work 9 to 5, 9 to 12, 12 to the next day, 12. And then they have the means to dip in your money that you work hard for? That's slavery. That's a scam. Wake up, wake up, wake up, right? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, right? So they're cutting into your money that you worked, your time, your time is your asset. Your time, your time is your asset. Your time is your asset. So you going to work, working that long family, they take about 500, some people get 200 to $800 taken out their paycheck, right? 200 to $800 taken out of your paycheck because you are an employee. But guess what? I have a way to help you because I know about the tax system. I'm learning daily. Constantly, I'm expanding my mind so I can turn around and help the community and at the same time have the community help themselves and each one should teach one. If you simply change your W-4, W-2, W-2, W-4, if you change your tax bracket, you're able to get $200 to $800 back on your check without asking your boss for a raise. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that? People who have their own businesses, people that are business owners and people that are fouling their business only get uh, tax 18 to 21% on taxes. Look at the jump, 25 to 38 versus 18 to 21. Come on now. You're working just to work and you get taxed and you don't even get that money back. When tax time run around, don't think that's your money that you got from your check. No, it's not. Tax time needs to be celebrated when you are a business owner and you write off your life. Don't get mad at Donald Trump and all these other people because they know how the system works. Know how the system works. Don't get beat at the game. Play it. Don't be the victim. Be the victim. I beat that victor. Be the victor. Be the one who knows how to play the money game. It's a freaking game. Don't take it so freaking serious. Play it. Learn the rules of money and play it. So by you simply changing your W-4, you're able to income shift. What does that mean? That means you're now bringing home more income than what you did before. And you can take that same money and start paying off your debt. You could take that same money and start repairing your credit. You could take that same money and pay off your student loans. Are you following me? You could take that same money and put it somewhere and let it pop off offspring for you. Are y'all following me? I mean, really, is this really, is this, this is going through the membrane. It's like having a golden ticket and not even taking it. So 
literally with you know with my business i have been able to help people do that matter of fact this coming up sunday we're having a call with my team and i'm going to be showing them how to change the w4 so that they're able to get more money back on their paycheck and then they're also learning about financial literacy if you want to do better, you got to know better. You got to expand your mind. You being around your broke friends or people who are in the same like vibrational field, how is that going to expand you? Yeah, you can learn from it, but how is that really going to expand you? You got to start expanding yourself around people that are doing the damn thing. You dig? You got to start hanging around people that are doing the damn thing. You know what I mean? Like doing the damn thing. Okay? So there's so many ways to do it, but the biggest thing that stops us is us. With so many excuses, so many excuses we come up with. And I know because I see it in myself. I see some excuses I make for myself. And I got to stop and be like, wait a minute, what is the root of this? Why are you making these excuses? Right? Because anything that you want, you'll go out and you'll sacrifice for it. We'll go out so quick with a heartbeat to go get our child a new Jordans. We'll go so, that new iPhone drop, baby, you're lined up. You're ready to get it. You're ready to get that new Louis, Louis V bag. You're ready for that new weave. But how ready are you ready to make a difference when you're still complaining about it is the question. Two things I hear the most from people. I don't have any time and I don't have any money. I don't have any time and I don't have any money. We always have the time. It's your reality. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice stuff. Cut down the amount of time that you watch TV. Cut down the amount of time that you're scrolling down on your Facebook timeline. You're scrolling down on your uh, Instagram timeline. Two things I hear from people, I don't have time, and I don't have money. You always have the time and you always have the money. When you really want something, you will do a damn bake sale to get the money to get what you need to get. If you really want something, you'll go out there and shoot. Maybe you got to throw some papers for a little bit to get the money to get you wherever you need to be. Those are excuses. Most of the time, it's also because of fear, right? Fear. False evidence, not knowing, appearing real, assumptions, illusion that we put in our mind to, ha to have us stop our blessings. We always have time and we always have money. Sometimes you got to sacrifice that cable. I mean, what is the TV doing for you? Literally, ask yourself, why am I watching TV? I'm not saying don't watch TV. I'm not saying that I don't chill sometimes with my boo and watch Netflix. But I'm saying, how much time are you watching TV? And do you really need cable? Your light bill do, but you still got cable. Turn that damn cable off. There's a class that you want to take, but you can't pay for it, but you can pay for your cell phone bill. What are your priorities? What are you willing to sacrifice? I have to sacrifice sleep sometimes. I have different businesses. I have teams of people that are signing up with my business every day at a rapid speed. I don't sleep so much always. I'm sacrificing boo time. I love to lay up and chill with my boo and laugh and kiki. But I know that's not going to get no money on the table, so I got to sacrifice some of that time. What are you going to sacrifice to make a difference? Because you cannot complain about what you don't have and then don't make a difference. Oh, I don't have the money. You got the money. And if you don't have the money, sign up for my uh, financial coaching, and I'll show you how to rediscover the money already in your check. That's already sitting there, just, just sitting there looking cute. But you don't notice it because you're not keeping a track of your finances. What are you spending day in and day out? Are you writing it down? Are you taking pictures of the receipts? Certain little stuff. Little small baby stuff like that. Little small baby stuff like that, right? 
So that was just a little tip. I'm not going to go too deep in depth. Like I will kick it to y'all knowledge style. But back to my class, my course, my class. My class is this Friday. Money, manifestation, magic. We're going to be coming together all together on this new moon this Friday. The moon in Cancer. And we're going to be birthing through our hearts, in our hearts, and through our wounds all together. And we're going to be doing various of different exercises and practices. So if you want to know inf more information, comment 1313. You also can hit me up in my inbox. The class is starting on Friday. I'll let you know the time. And the price is 1313. The price is 1313 on the 13th. Okay? I have a reason why I always do special things on special days. So I love you guys for just sitting here, getting this message from the ancestors. If you're just getting on, you know, type replay. If you watch this live all the way through, um, type in live. If you're interested in any type of financial coaching, uh, please let me know. Matter of fact, I'm going to drop my, uh, my new website up right now. I don't have all of my prices up, but you definitely can check out my website and see what I do. Um, but I'm here. But I always stress it enough. Like I'm here for the people that are here seriously for themselves. I say that a lot. You'll hear me say it a lot. I'll say it a lot because I want, you know, everybody to really get it. Like I'm here for the ones that are ready to help themselves. Right. Because there's no sense of me trying to help people that don't want to help themselves. Right. That doesn't make sense. Right. It's like a horse is dead and you, you beating it, you beating it, and you beating it, but a horse ain't going to come back, right? So it's very important that you also surround yourself around people that's going to grow you, not people that's sucking up your time. Time is an asset. I take my time very seriously. So if you're serious about making a change, I'm here to support. But as always, I'm always going to put out the message. But if you want some more one-on-one -on -one support with me, you know where to find me. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in to this broadcast, for tuning in to my frequency. Peace, love, and infinite, infinite blessings, family.